Hello viewers, welcome to the next video in the tutorial series for E framework. In this video, I am going to discuss about detail view. Okay, so what is detail view? So detail view is a data widget which is used to render the data for a single model. Okay, and uh, after that what we are going to cover? We are going to cover about configuring the different uh, properties uh, for the attribute okay so now let's directly head on to the example okay uh, so for this tutorial i am just using the sublime text okay so on the screen first we are going to hit client slash index so here we have the grid view for the list of clients so now let's go to the view for a client so this is the detail view okay so the very first thing which uh, what we are going to uh, check into is the loading of this screen so it's client slash view so in the clients controller we have an action called action view having this parameter id right so here from here we are passing id equal to 24 so this dollar id is 24 and then we are rendering the view and we are passing the model now within uh, okay so this find model function if we go to the definition okay so it is calling client colon find one right so okay so we have got the model here and we are passing it to the view so now let's go to the view dot php which is actually inside views client and view.php okay on the detail view first we are uh, rendering the buttons so we have configured the buttons here and then we are calling the detail view widget now what are the parameters that we are passing we are passing model which we have passed from here and then we are configuring the attributes so the attributes that we are config configured here are id then name then okay email so how we have configured this so email attribute formatted as email so email colon email means email attribute formatted as email then status okay so yeah so this is the last one okay so now if we look at the screen so we have id name email and status now let's talk about some variations in configuring the attributes okay so i would just open this configuration for status okay so here what i have done so we have the attribute as a status i have changed the label so label is now client status so before uh, okay, so when we are rendering status like this, we have the label as status only. But here I have changed the state label to client status, and then I'm getting the value using this function. So I'm calling client util, then render status, and I'm passing the model. Okay, so if I go to uh, client util, so this is the function render status and we are passing the model to it and then we are returning the appropriate value from here okay so this is another way of configuring the value for the attribute okay next one is so here we are calling this function right so i can write this same in as in the form of a callback function so this is also the callback function but in a different way and here we are simply writing the callback function we have so the the function would be same we are we are passing model then we are returning the appropriate value based on the status so if i refresh the screen see so we have status and the using the second way and then the using the callback function in an inline fashion okay now next property is visible so by default this property is true 
means the attribute would be displayed but I am setting visible now to false so now let's look at the output see so that is hidden now okay next one is content options so what is content options so content options are the HTML options for the value that you are displaying for the attribute so here I am putting style as font style italic and background color as yellow so if I refresh the screen see so we have the yellow background and the value is displayed displayed in italic okay next one is content op caption options so these are the HTML options for the label so I am providing the style as text transform uppercase so see so the label is displayed in the uppercase so this is how you can configure the HTML options for the label okay next one is the yes the okay I have created a custom column called date and we would look into the format property so here the label is date the value is the current current unix timestamp right so let's say if i comment this format and if i refresh the screen we have the date as unix timestamp now if i uncomment this so format is date so now let's refresh the screen so date is formatted in this fashion okay so this is how you can configure different properties within detail view it's pretty simple I mean it's much simpler as compared to grid view or list view uh, okay so that's all for this tutorial I hope this tutorial is useful to you in case you have any questions you can post them in the comment section or you can drop us an email at info at ushainformatic.com if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe to the channel for more such videos thank you